Hello everyone and welcome to the Orlando Trip recap video. This summer we took 11 students and 10 chaperones to Orlando, Florida where we competed in National Fine Arts. The trip was led by Josh Canning and Kayla Pelletier. Oh wait, that's me. During our time in Orlando, most of our meals were made by Morgan Witherspoon and Susan Rotella, and boy were we spoiled with some great meals. Each day on our trip, we started off with morning devotion privately, and then together we had a huddle to get us ready for our day. My huddle was definitely a topic that like means a lot to me because I know a lot of people struggle with it. I've mentioned a lot that like your self-image like matters so much to God. That God has made all of us perfectly how He wanted us to be, and He has a special purpose for all of us. God has a plan. He has a plan. He is writing our story, and we just take it one step at a time. In addition to National Fine Arts, we also took a trip to Universal Studios Florida and visited the main event. This year for Fine Arts, we brought 15 presentations. We had four performances, one writing piece, and 10 pieces of artwork. Many of our students received a ranking of excellent and were given lots of ways that they can continue to improve their gifts and talents in a certain area. A few of our students even received Superior, which is the highest ranking that you can get. Tova performed a new song and even received two perfect scores on her first round. And finally they'll see there's so much more to me at last I won't be lost. Lost in the brass. Lost in the brass. Because of this, she was given a call back on Saturday and got to perform again. Of the 130 entries in this category, Tova finished 10th in the country. And as far as how Abby did, well... The top participants are on the screen in the category of visual art, three-dimensional. That's right, Abby finished third in the country in three-dimensional art, and we could not be more proud. Each night during Fine Arts, there was a service that we could attend as a group. As the week went on, we made the decision to stay at home and have some worship nights together at the house. I think the best memorable part was our worship nights when we just stayed at home instead of going to the, like, the Lao Convention Center. Like Some of us had some problems with that. We were just all gathered around and we were just like praising God. That was the time where most of us just like <laughs> broke down basically. Uh, that was just a really special time and I really felt like it made us feel like a family. Everyone was just paired up with each other to comfort each other and I think that was the best. Being able to comfort others and just like be there for them. I'm gonna remember that for, for a long time. There were a lot of times where I, you know, I might have felt like I needed to interject or be there for someone in a situation. There's already three students that were there. You turn around and there's a, a person like that's just broken and you, and you go to them and you pray with them and you worship with them and then you know they, they stand back up and then you turn around to someone else. So it's just constantly moving from person to person, ministering to each other and, and picking each other up. I realized that God can actually use me. I'm not just there just to be there, you know? Like I can be used for God. I feel like the most growth for me anyway happened just at the house, like talking together and praying together and worshiping together. We're not just here for Universal or Fine Arts. Like, it's fun, but it's not the reason we went to work. To be able to see, you know, students praying for each other and caring for each other and as a leader, it just kind of shows us that God is working in this ministry. Just the growth that, you know, we've seen in some of them even just over the course of a week. It's just something to marvel at. In the few weeks that we've been back from Orlando, we see how this trip continues to make an impact on those who went. It was a lot of times of bonding for us. That made everything really special, and I still feel that connection with everybody that uh, was on the trip. On behalf of everybody that had the privilege of attending this trip to Orlando, Florida, we want to say thank you. Thank you for your prayers. Thank you for your support. Between fundraising efforts and personal donations, we had raised over $10,000 to take this trip to Florida. And we don't take that lightly. So we want to say thank you for allowing us to have the opportunity to experience this together. We look forward to heading to Columbus, Ohio in 2020. So Columbus was canceled. 
And while it was a shocking blow, we soon realized after we heard this news that even though we weren't going to be able to show our talents in Columbus, Ohio, we knew that we had an even greater opportunity to show our talent right here in Christian Hill. This Saturday, August 1st, you got to save that on your calendar right now. Saturday, August 1st, this Saturday, end of the week, is our talent show. It's going to be live streamed, but save that date and make sure you're free, make sure you're home. You can be in your pajamas, you can be anything. We won't see you. We'll make sure you grab some snacks and watch us. You're going to see some amazing talent that unfortunately can't be in Columbus, but can still be here right at Christian Hill. And we absolutely cannot wait to show you what God has been doing in our ministry this year, and welcome to Youth Sunday.